Chai, we move the Arduino and try to make another search. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, do you have a video with you? The video I sent you, sir. Uh, okay, that one. Okay, that means fine. Uh, so what what is your future projects? Maybe what are you going to involve in the future projects? I'm going to try the Bluetooth module. Yeah, that's fine. Right, you can work on the Bluetooth part but you you may have some problems while you actually connect the bluetooth module to your phone right so you may have some problems with connecting your bluetooth module with your phone so hope you you can tackle those things and you can uh, come up with a, a working project right what about the other person binuke Yeah. So I started to build the blue obstacle avoiding car, but since I couldn't find the ultra ultrasonic sensor, I still didn't connect the circuit, but I made the car, but still I didn't connect any circuit. Uh can we can we all see that one? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we are seeing. Uh, so, do you have Arduino with you? Yes, sir. I programmed Arduino, but I still didn't uh, input it to the uh, Arduino board. I have it in the laptop. Sorry? We can't get what you are saying because uh, uh, do you have a motor controller with you that uh, L298.N1? Yes, sir. Did you connect with uh, with your project? No, sir. I still didn't connect any circuit, but I programmed the Arduino and uh, it's there in the laptop, but still I didn't input it to the Arduino board. Uh, uh okay okay but uh how do you know so where did you program from our our tinker catch of pair yes sir. Uh, okay fine so if you use tinker catch of pair we all can work on the programming part right so basically um, the programming part is maybe hard for other people that means those who uh, didn't work on our Tinkercad software, that uh, visual programming method, right? So if we use that visual programming method, that means the program will be very easy, right? So we can easily correct those programs as well. So what we have to do is, so do you have any problems? So I can, this is not a showcase, of course. Uh, uh, if you have any problems while connecting or while arranging your project, you can ask me. That is why I, I have arranged this kind of session, uh, not only increasing the presentation skills, but also tackle the problems that you face, right? So, Binuka, do you have any problems while connecting or you don't understand anything about your project? You yeah. can just ask me. Yeah, I thought of including four wheels in the... Uh, obstacle avoiding car so it can go in a quick manner but in that case the circuit would be the same right yeah the circuit you have to do some changes right rather than uh, two wheels if you are using four wheels you have to make some changes right i will show you the wiring diagram of our previous our previous lecture note. Just give me a minute, I will show it to you. So 
So maybe This one is Bluetooth communication. Currently, I don't have that particular lecture note, so I can explain it to you, right? So this is the wiring, that this is the difference that uh, uh, Co motors wiring diagram. How do you know? Uh, because the, the particular wiring diagram is in our our lecture note, you can refer it. So this one is another motor driver, right? Instead of L298, we can also use this one, right? You can refer this uh, wiring diagram and you can connect it, right? This is very simple. But this is called as maybe motor driver shield, right? So this this can be attached to the Arduino. Over the Arduino, we can attach the, this shield, right? So we know we all know that uh, this is the two motors wiring diagram. That means we can directly connect this. Bit. But if we are using four motors, we have to open another motor. So let's say this is another motor, right? So we have to obtain another motor here and then you have to connect and another motor here and connect likewise right? i will show it to you here so this one right this one this is how you connect right so here we have two motors are co connected like this and connected to this one right so you can join two wires these two wires together and then you have to obtain another this is called as series connection of motors right we know that this one and then we have to kind of attach it to the uh, l290 l298 and motor driver so that means the four wheels motor will be uh, connected right so while seeing this diagram right while seeing this diagram can you uh, explain what will be the project what will be the purpose of this project? Can you guess? Can anyone in our class? Robotic car? Yeah, of course, the car. Uh, so what is the purpose of achieving this uh, project? Set a, set to increase the speed of the car. No, because uh, you have to see the input side. This is the input side. We have two IR sensors, left IR sensor and right IR sensor, right? If you have IR sensors connected together with the Arduino, that means they have designed a line following robot, this one. We know that, right? What is line following robot? We, in our floor, we stick a line like whatever we like maybe this line right so after we draw and stick the cello tape on the floor right then we place our robo like this one right on the on the top side right for to bottom we have installed these two sensors together this is the left sensor maybe this is the right sensor this is the left sensor right so then we can have the line following robo. Maybe the robo will follow this line, right? If you program, right? We can program this simply, 
simply we can program this. If this sensor is detected, that means what? That means the robot is turned in this way, right? So that means it has to turn this way, this direction. That means uh, what? Counterclockwise, right? So for that, you have to program it, right? Similarly, if this sensor is detecting, that means we have to program the robot to turn on right side. Similarly, we can code this one. I explained it in our previous lecture also. So this is the line following uh, sensors diagram. Right, so what is the next question from Binuka? What is your next problem you have? Uh, only that. Sorry? Uh, only that. Uh, okay. Right. Another another person. Maybe Ginure. So, Jinura, do you have any anything to show us? Anything to show any projects, any homeworks? Sir, yesterday I downloaded the remote XY and the okay. library, and after I uh, uh, library, okay. Uh, put that into the Arduino, mm. and. Uh, and I tried to uh, do the LED bulbs today. Okay. And uh, after I uh, uh, connect the circuit to the computer, and uh, it doesn't uh, reply with anything when I upload it. So that means what is your progress now? You Do you have uh, the Bluetooth module with you? Yes, sir. Uh, did you connect all the wiring diagrams accordingly? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, they, but uh, what is I your... couldn't do the, uh, the whole thing because uh, I got the sensor today, the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, okay. Maybe we can try uh, blinking the LED bulbs. That means if we can turn on the LED bulb, that means we can turn on our motors as well. Because we have in one, in two, in three, in four pins uh, to the motors, we can simply connect that one. So, so what is your problem currently you have in Arduino uploading or? Uh, so, so that means if you have a Bluetooth module and Arduino, that means you can turn on an LED bulb by using your smartphone, right? You, you yes. can, you can, right? So I'm asking, uh, what is the problem, current state of the problem? I'm going to try it to, uh, tomorrow and I will try to send it, send the video. Okay. And, uh, but with the LED bulbs, the LED bulb is not responding to the code when I upload it. Yeah, for that, you have to do one thing. Right, so you have to connect the wiring diagram according to our uh, our project. Right, so we we saw that uh, maybe this one. Right, so so this is the wiring diagram. We we may have that one. Can we? Have? Yeah. Right, for this diagram, uh, you have instead of this circuit. Right, instead of this one, you have connected a LED bulb. Right. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, it should work, right? In order to get this work done, right? We have to, in our smartphone, we have to download uh, the software called as Remote XY, right? Did you download? No, sir. Uh, then it will work, right? So if you download Remote XY software, right? After you have downloaded it, right? In your smartphone, you have to open your Bluetooth settings, right? So after you have uploaded the code to the Arduino, 
from your laptop or PC. After you have successfully uploaded the code, you can remove this USB cable, right? Then you have to wire this TX and RX pins according to the, uh, the diagram. That means this TX, uh, TX pin should be connected to RX pin. This RX pin should be connected to TX pin, right? Alternatively, right? After you have connected this one, right? And wired up the Bluetooth module VCC and ground, then you will see the blinking in the Bluetooth module. An LED bulb will be blinking, inbuilt LED, right? Inside the Bluetooth module will be blinking. That means the Bluetooth module is working, right? So after it is turned on, that means the Bluetooth module is turned on, right? You can use your smartphone to uh, detect the Bluetooth module. That means you have to open up your smartphone and open your Bluetooth module, Bluetooth configuration, and you have to find the device for this one, maybe HC05, right? You have to uh, find this device and pair it, right? After you have successfully- So it will be connected, right, sir? Yeah, after you have paired these two devices, that means your smartphone and this Bluetooth module, you can open your remote XY application in your mobile, right? After that, you can uh, you can uh, open uh, the Bluetooth settings and click the Bluetooth uh, particular HC05, and then you will see the graphical user interface that you have set up on your remote XY uh, in your computer. You set up next remote xy website that particular graphical interface will be shown in your phone right so if you see that particular graphical user interface in your phone that means you are successful if you turn on the led bulb from your smartphone then the actual led from here maybe wherever you connect here it will blink right so that is how we can uh, configure these components. So do you understand this or do I have to explain it again? Sir, uh, I have another question and yeah. it is, uh, how do you get the source code, sir? Sorry? I clicked on the source code. Yeah, in the source code, yeah, I will explain it. So you have to open remote. X, Y. Right, you have to <clears throat> start now, click start now, and you have to configure this one, right? So I'm going to delete, you have to configure these uh, things and you have to set up all your Bluetooth module, Arduino, HC05, all the things you have to configure. After you have configured, you have to set this one. Right? That means if you click this one, what is the Arduino pin should be triggered. You have to set up, right? So for that, you have to click this one and scroll it down and you have to set up this one, snap to pin. Whatever the pin from the Arduino you have connected to the LED bulb, you have to set it here, right? After you have set up, you can simply click get source code here, right? So then after, you can download this code, right? You can save it wherever you want, right? You can just save it and open. Maybe it's in the desktop, this one, right? So then you can open up. This is the code. Do you understand? This is the code. Then you yes, have sir. to upload it to the Arduino and then uh, you have to pair it, pair your Bluetooth module with your phone and then it will work so do you understand now yes sir yeah do we have any other questions or problems no sir right so hopefully we we expect your working video that means the bluetooth turning on led bulb tomorrow right right uh, the other person 
सागर है तो वॉट अबाउट यू यस सर या डू यू हैव एनीथिंग टू शो अस नॉट यस नॉट यस सर so did you try our examples uh, even in in the tinkercad software i tried sir so can you can you show us that one so if you if you worked on the examples or maybe some new inventions right so you can show it to us and explain it how it works so do you have anything even in the software it's not a problem do you have right okay you can send it to whatsapp uh, so i think don't you have the components with you no sir ah uh, no no problem no problem yeah, you told me yesterday ne? so no problem you can work with the uh, tinkercad software and upload some videos to us right so maybe uh, <clears throat> i'm expecting some uh, some of uh, <clears throat> new new inventions right so rather than working our previous example of course we have to work our work on our previous examples but i am expecting some new examples from our students right not only sagara but also from all the students i am expecting i am expecting some new inventions from you right so we'll move on to the next student uh, sandali so what about your project yeah you sent it to whatsapp uh, can you explain about a bit about your project to us so what did you do how the how did you wire up all the components how did you program those kinds of steps you can explain it to us so do you have do you have the just you can uh, open up your uh, sh- you can just share screen if you are using with the computer you can just share your screen and then you can uh, show the code that you have typed in the tinkercad software or maybe in the arduino you can show it to us that means we can understand it very uh, easily so what about it so i'm going to show you something right so there are uh, tons of uh, robotic competitions right robotic competitions in 2021 sri lanka right so there are tons and tons of competitions right maybe university of uh, rohuna university of morotua there are tons of competitions right so we can uh, use we, we can work and participate on that uh, robotic competitions as well right so these are uh, very easy thing that here we have a school category Uh, tasks will be released right so maybe we have to 
wait for them so you can just simply register for them uh, for their uh, uh, workshops or their uh, robotics competitions right so this is why i am starting the class for for you and also i am asking you to present your works right so maybe i can uh, read more <clears throat> maybe this one is over but there are some other aspects as well because uh, nowadays the, there are some uh, lockdowns uh, the universities are closed so after the universities are opened or the schools are open you can uh, participate some uh, several kinds of uh, competitions and uh, win the prize right so there are valuable prizes also so you can win right basically right so i'm going to some give you some tips right so basically an invention is your invention might be uh, a problem solver that means uh, you have to think right you have to think in day to day life activities what are the problems you face right so for for your problems the invention should be uh, a problem solver right so it should be a problem solver and it should increase the prosperity of the peoples right so for that we have to think about some uh, different kinds of inventions right after that we can present it in a, a very attractive manner right so it should give value to uh, to the people right so how can we work on those kinds of projects right so you may think as an example so let's say as a, a blind person is walking right so yesterday also i told you a blind person is walking right in front of him is there any object it should detect right it should detect and it should alarm the person that there are some objects in front of you so if you create this kinds of inventions the 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 blind person will be benefited benefited right so will get benefits so we have to think like that and explain it right explaining is also very important right so we have to explain it to others in a way that everyone should understand because uh, when you are inventing some new things you you may have to present it to the person who has no idea about that one right so we have to explain it in a way that everyone can understand right so so there are tons of competitions as well you can uh, go through the internet and register for them right right so there are tons available so you can work with so in before we start so do you have any problems in our previous class or things you don't understand you can just ask me do you have any problem it is the time for you to ask so i have to show you one thing uh, from my channel i have i have created a automatic plants irrigation system right so that will provide and that will provide continuous uh, this is my channel you can visit here and i have i have some videos for the students so this is the basically it, it is an educational channel right so there are some videos in tamil and english also right so maybe these videos are in english right 
so maybe another videos are in Tamil so you can uh, visit my YouTube channel and you can uh, get an idea about that one so here maybe this video uh, is all about uh, how to calculate without using the calculator right so that means uh, by using our mind we can calculate everything right so I have some tips to calculate how to uh, do some calculations right so this video is maybe helpful for you and also I have a video yeah I have to show you right so this one is an automatic uh, plants irrigation system right so this is how it works uh, maybe so if we turn we, we have a switch here right so we have a uh, this is my my project uh we have a switch here right so in the switch it all it turns on all the other electronics items right so if we turn on the switch right so then after uh the sensor is attached that means a moisture sensor right a moisture sensor is attached within this uh jar right so if the water dries out, that means if the water dries out, then the water will be flowing. That means the, the plants will be irrigated, right? So so if, we, if it is drained, the water will be provided, right? If it is wet that means the water will be stopped that is the simple project that i did so now it is flowing right so we will have the arrangement i i have the arrangement videos as well i didn't use arduino for this project particular project i only use the relay right? we know that how to connect the relay right we know that uh, common terminal is here right normally closed terminal and normally open terminal we know that and the signal pin i have attached the signal pin with the sensors output and i have powered up the relay as well so that means the relay will be powered up and it will work So this is the moisture sensor, right? This uh, particular one is the moisture sensor, right? If we apply, so that means uh, these are two terminals, right? So if the water is there available, that means the if the water is available, that means these two things are connected, right? If these two things are connected, then it will generate electricity, right? Positive and negative. Right, it will generate electricity. Right, so for that we have to have a uh, sensor module also. On that module, it recognizes that uh, there is a uh, water present or not. Right, so then it will detect that one and send a signal to Arduino. So this is the uh, particularly this is the one. This is the module right so we have to connect the sensor like this one and this one right so here we have four pins right each pin corresponded to we have to give power up right so in on the other side it is written vcc gnd digital and analog these are written on the other side so we can power give power up vcc and ground right uh, then we have to obtain maybe digital or analog, right? I'm obtaining digital because we have only two variables. That means water is pro we should be provided or not, right? So I have obtained a digital and then it is connected to the relay. Relay's input is given from this pin, whatever the digital pin. Then it will work accordingly right so that is all about this wiring 
you know that how to wire this one right so how to connect we, we have to use female to female cable and then we have to connect it So this is the pin, right? So this is the signal pin that we have to connect from the sensor's module, right? So that is all about the wiring part. And also on this side, we have to connect the pump, but here I didn't use the pump. In the video, I used to say that the pump was connected like this, but in the actual circuit, I didn't use pump, right? I directly connected from the tap. Right, I use the solenoid valve, right? So do you know what is solenoid valve? Right. This is the solenoid valve. Right. Uh, this is the solenoid valve. There are tons of solenoid valves available, right? So we have to connect the solenoid valve from the tap. Right, so maybe you have a tap here, right? So we have a tap here. From the tap, we have to connect a pipe like this, right? So if electricity is provided to this one, then it will allow the water to flow. If we don't provide electricity to this one, then it will restrict the flow. So that is how it is designed, right? So I use this solenoid valve and uh, arrange the circuit and it works. So this is the working video of this one. So I have to turn on the entire switch to control it. So initially the sensor is placed on the uh, jar and then it, it is currently wet, right? So that is why the water is not flowing through the tubes. So if we take out the sensor and place it on a dry sand, that means the water is flowing. You can see that, right? So you can see that the water is flowing, right? So again, if we take the sensor and place it on the wet sand, right? That means, but we don't have to uh, place and replace after we have installed. We have to initially install the sensor inside it, right? We don't move this part, right? Initially, right? If the sand is wet, the water will be stopped. If the sand is dry, the water will be flow that is how it works right so basically it is stopping now you can see that it is stopping now because the sand is wet right so in this manner we can provide water to our plants right so once we have to install this system for at for once one time then it will work Right, so then for the whole time it will work, right? So we don't have to worry about watering our plants anymore, right? So this is uh, one of my project, not one of my project I did. <clears throat> so, so, but basically this is a demonstration, right? So this is a demonstration about how it, how the project should work. Right. So if you are using the actual circuit for the actual plants and actual uh, case, we have to go for the others, other, other way because uh, we used uh, some breadboards and connections like this. So if we use breadboards and arrange the system, uh, that means it can't run for a longer period. Right. In order to run this system for a longer period, we have to settle for the PCB boards, right? We know that what is PCB boards. This is PCB board, right? So we don't want to use breadboards for our projects, which are longer period, which requires longer period of operation, right? So we have to use these kinds of boards. These are PCB boards. We know that we have to solder them. So then it will work, right? That is how we have to provide that. So PCB design and PCB, how we can design PCBs and how we can solder those components 
those are advanced robotics right not in the basic robotics those are advanced robotics right so we have to know how to solder the components how we can arrange them and how we can produce the systems that means how we can produce the systems which are durable right which can work for a longer period we have to uh, go to this part right so these are advanced robotics we are not going to look those things in our basic robotics class right so this is all about this one right so do you have any problems do you have any problems you can ask me right <clears throat> next thing we are going to see is uh, introduction to raspberry pi right so basically here we are only going to look for raspberry pi right so raspberry pi what do you understand about raspberry pi do you hear the word before <clears throat> do you hear the word before Raspberry Pi is similar to Arduino, right? It is similar to Arduino. It is like a controller, right? But Raspberry Pi is a little bit advanced from Arduino, stepping up, right? So because the Arduino can only work on some of the projects, some of the limited components and projects, right? But in Raspberry Pi, we can work on uh, different kinds of complicated circuits, so complicated projects, right? So Arduino, sorry, Raspberry Pi, we can connect our keyboards, right? We can connect our keyboard, mouse, right? Even we can connect a monitor with the Raspberry Pi. So this is like a this is acting like a personal computer, C CPU, right? So it will act as a com computer, but we can work on our uh, projects as well, right? It has a higher bit rates, right? So in Arduino, we can only have this much of memory support, only a small amount of code we can work with, right? But in the Raspberry Pi, we can work up to 512 MB external memory, right? So those are the uh, differences between this one and also the price, right? So maybe Arduino Uno, uh, maybe you can obtain for 2000 rupees, 2000 or maybe 2500 rupees, right? So, but Raspberry Pi, mm -hmm. The price is high, maybe ten thousand. Or oh, in Sri Lanka, uh, Raspberry Pi is not available coming because of uh, the COVID nineteen situation. It is not coming, right? So it is hard to obtain in Sri Lanka as well, right? So in Raspberry Pi, we, we can only provide five voltages, but in Arduino, we can provide seven to twelve. Maybe we can provide. 7, maybe 5, 3.3 .3 to 24 voltage to the Arduino, right? So that's all about. So this is Raspberry Pi, right? So maybe you can see here, this is Raspberry Pi, right? So this is how it look like, right? So here we have uh, USB cables. We can connect our mouse or keyboards, right? So we will have... Uh, uh, connection to monitors as well, right? Right. So here we have a video for you to show that how this Raspberry Pi, what are the projects we can make by using Raspberry Pi. That, that is what we are going to see.
so there are tons of videos available uh, you can check it right so basically this one that you are seeing this one raspberry 5 one right so after they have updated this one it is coming as a this one as this one So in this one, in a small credit card size one, we can have, this is like a mini CPU, right? That's all about, right? We can connect the keyboard, we can connect mouse, maybe internet connection, Wi-Fi is available, right? But this is act like an Arduino and also act as a computer, right? That means uh, to program Arduino, we need what? We need a computer. Right. So, but in Raspberry Pi, we don't need a computer, but other components. Right. So, this is a computer, but it can work uh, as an Arduino as well. That is the difference between this one. So, this is the hard drive. Right. That means the hard as a hard drive, we can use a chip. Right. Micro SD card chip. We can use that one. So the, this is the Raspberry Pi's operating system, right? So we will look after uh, how to install the operating system to the Raspberry Pi, right, in future. So, so th this monitor is connected to the Raspberry Pi, right? That small particular uh, credit card size Raspberry Pi, this monitor is connected, right? So he is, what we see is, the Raspberry Pi operating system as Windows, right? As Windows, we are seeing Raspberry Pi's operating system. Right? Here we have uh, the folders, maybe we have Wi Fi, maybe we have some games as well. So we are going to see what are the projects we can make by using uh, Raspberry Pi, right? So you know you get an idea about what is Raspberry Pi and how it will look like, right? So now we are going to see what are the projects that we can make. That means the complicated projects that we can make, right? So this one is LED bulb clock.
So basically, these things you can make by using Arduino, right? So we can either make uh, Arduino projects and also the complicated. That means if we are uh, using the the touch screen displays, that if we are going to use touch screen displays, uh, we have to have a graphical user interfaces, right? So we have to go for the Raspberry Pi, right? So according to our project, we have to select the control, right? So Raspberry Pi is also a controller and Arduino is also a controller, right? According to our project requirement, we have to select, right? So you, you can see that then they have a display, right? So if we are working with the display projects, we can work on the Raspberry Pi, right? <clears throat> So we can manually program this robot, right? So we can manually program according to our requirement. So then it will work. So you can see that how the motors are arranged, right? So they use only the servo motors, right? So it may look complicated, right? But if you see the free body diagram of this one, it is very uh, simple because they have only used uh, the servo motors, right? We know that how the servo motors are working, right? So we know that how to connect the servo motors with the Arduino, right? As similar to Arduinos, uh, we have to connect the other components as well. So those are simple things. You can see. <clears throat> So by using Raspberry Pi, right, we can communicate with others, right? So that means uh, it, it can send messages, right? So it is connected to a server, right? So it can send messages to others. So basically he used uh, Raspberry Pi 1, right? Raspberry, they, we have Raspberry Pi 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, etc. Right. So maybe now it is available Raspberry Pi 4.0. Right. So Raspberry Pi 1 is very simple. It doesn't have many components to connect. Right. So after they have invented Raspberry Pi, they improved that a bit too. We can connect uh, HDMI cables and also uh, the USB cables, uh, number of USB cables are increased. This is the one, right? This is Raspberry Pi 1. Uh, on, under the bottom, you can see. So this one is a shield one.
So this is what all about the, you know, and you have the idea about what are the projects that we can make by using Raspberry Pi, right? So now we will, uh, so these are some other examples also, right? So we, we can also make, this one is a camera attached to it, right? So this is a camera uh, attached to it with the robot, right? So we can make these kinds of things as well. Right, so now we are going to install the Raspberry Pi. That means after we have obtained this one, we have to install the operating system to it. Right, for that, we have to go to raspberryfi.org. Right, then we have to download the operating system. Right? Then after we have downloaded that one, right, so we have to obtain a SD card and format it, right? So manually, we have to format our SD card and then uh, we can install that downloaded operating system to the SD card, right? So after we have installed the SD card and installed the operating system, we can have the Raspberry Pi and then it will work, right? We can connect keyboard, mouse, monitor, SD card, power and GPIO pins. GPIO pins means uh, these Arduino pins, right? So we can connect uh, LED bulbs, uh, motors, uh, servo motors, etc. Right? So basically, we have to give five voltage to the Raspberry Pi, right? So for that, we, we can use our phone charger, right? So we can use phone charger, but the phone charger should be should always be turned on. Right, so if we remove the charger and then the Raspberry Pi will be turned off, right? So for that, we, we may use the power bank to power up the Raspberry Pi, right? SD card, we can attach it maybe 8 GB or 16 GB, right? So we can attach a keyboard, HDMI cable, HDMI cable, you, you know that it is used to connect the monitors, right? So this is a this is a case, right? So we have to buy a case for the Raspberry Pi, right? So it is not necessary. If you want, we can buy. So this is the case. We have to arrange the Raspberry Pi, and then we have to arrange the side sides. Then we have to arrange the top, right? After that, it will look like this one, right? For that, we have USB cables here, HDMI here, and all the other stuff there. Right. Right. We here we have how to connect the components. SD card should be connected this way, this way, and the other USB cables are connected as this way. Right. Here, this is the power pin. Right. So charger. You you can use your phone charger to power up the uh, Raspberry Pi. Right, tomorrow in the next class, we will see how we can install the Raspberry Pi and what are the things we can make, right? So do you have any problems? Do you have any problem, you can ask me. Otherwise, we can wind up the class. Right.